फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट अ केयरफुल एनालिसिस ऑफ सब सेक्शन थ्री वुड मेक इट क्लियर दैट द फर्स्ट पार्ट विच रिक्वायर्स द डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट टू कन्वीन मीटिंग ऑफ द बोर्ड फॉर कंसिडरिंग द मोशन ऑफ नो कॉन्फिडेंस अगेंस्ट द प्रेजिडेंट इज मैंडेटरी द डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू परफॉर्म अ पब्लिक ड्यूटी इन कन्वीनिंग अ मीटिंग ऑफ द बोर्ड फॉर कंसिडरेशन ऑफ द मोशन एट द ऑफिस ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑन द डेट एंड टाइम एज फिक्सड बाय हिम ही हैज नो चॉइस इन द मैटर ही हैज टू कन्वीन अ मीटिंग ऑन अ डेट विद इन थर्टी एंड थर्टी फाइव डेज फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ प्रजेंटेशन ऑफ द मोशन टू हिम द डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट इज फर्दर एंजॉइंड टू परफॉर्म अ पब्लिक ड्यूटी ऑफ सेलिंग नोटिस ऑफ द मीटिंग टू द मेम्बर्स दिस अगेन इज अ मैंडेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ लॉ विच मस्ट बी स्ट्रिक्टली कंप्लाइड विद द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सब सेक्शन लेज डाउन द मैनर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी फॉलोड इन सेंडिंग नोटिस टू द मेम्बर्स इट लेज डाउन दैट नोटिस ऑफ द मीटिंग शैल बी सेंट बाय रजिस्टर्ड पोस्ट टू एवरी मेम्बर ऑफ द बोर्ड एट हिज प्लेस ऑफ रेजिडेंस The essence of this provision is to give information to the members to enable them to avail opportunity of participating in the meeting convened for the purpose of considering the no confidence motion. The first part of the section requiring the district magistrate to convene meeting. and to send notices to the members is mandatory any disregard of that provision would defeat the very purpose of the meeting but the manner of service of notice and publication of the same is directory in nature the purpose of service of notice by registered post and publication of the notice otherwise is to ensure that members should get adequate notice of the meeting to enable them to participate in the debate over the no confidence motion at the meeting that purpose is not defeated if the notice is sent to the members not by registered post but by other methods and seven clear days are given to the members the legislature never intended that unless notice is sent by registered post to the members the proceedings of the meeting would be vitiated the legislature no doubt stressed that if the two steps as laid down in the sub section are taken by the district magistrate that is notice of the meeting is sent to members by registered post at their place of residence and further if it is published in the manner directed by the district magistrate a presumption would arise and every member shall be deemed to have received the notice of the meeting in that case it will not be open to any member 
to contend that he did not receive notice of the meeting or that the meeting was illegally constituted for want of notice the purpose of sending notice can be achieved even without sending the same by registered post there may be a case where the postal system may be disorganized and it may not be possible to send notice by registered post in that situation the district magistrate may send notice to members of the board by special messenger giving them 7 clear days before the date of the meeting in that event the legislative intent and purpose requiring sending of notice would be fully achieved although in that event the rule of presumption as laid down in the sub section would not be available and if a challenge was made by a member that no notice was received by him the deeming provision will not be applicable and it would require proof that the notice even though sent by ordinary post or by special messenger was actually served on the member the emphasis on sending notice to members by registered post and for publication of the same in the manner directed by the district magistrate is directed to invoke the presumption as contemplated in the last sentence of the subsection stop